here again on another Saturday. If you've noticed from the past episodes, we've been working on a pig shelter, and that's where we're at right now. We're a pig enclosure. Um, we have a couple projects that we wanted to share with you today. This is the opening to the pig pasture. Um, come to find out, it may not be the best spot. We can't really get a trailer up here when we load them. But anyway, we have five little piggies that we're going to pick up on Friday. They're little. They're probably going to be, I think, four to five weeks old. So they're going to be little wee piggies. But we have to get a gate. So the two things we want to share with you today are that we're going to put this gate up here. The other thing is we have a soccer goal and we are going to put a tarp over it and just make it a nice little shaded shelter for the pigs. Um, so those are two things, pig shelter and the gate. Next week, sometime during the week, once we get the pigs and so forth, we're going to probably work on. So we have the water we're going to make and then we have a feeder. So we have two more pig projects to finish this up for our little piggies. Yep. The ground slopes a little bit, so I'm going to make it a little bit shorter and then it's going to be off the ground and we're going to compensate on the bottom with a, another piece of wood. Alright, let's get to it. This is the easy gate. Pick that just from the big box. It's just going to make the job a little simpler. That'll be in the corners, and these two have a hinge also on the side. So here's one side. And then you have these with the two by fours that slide down here, and here's your hinge. So it should make this really simple. There's plenty of ways to make a gate, but I'm not gonna overcomplicate it. Spend much time trying to rethink the process. Screws. This is gonna be our latch. It's one of these guys. This is our latch. that saw. This is the upper and lower board sections and then we're gonna put the 2x4s between them. Mm. That's nice of them. Alright, give you the right size. That's nice of them. They gave us the bit. There we go. No, I guess there's no guessing about what we need. There you go. these screws in your mouth. That's usually where I hold all my screws. Not sure what the big deal is though. Can you see the tip? It cracked right off. 
doing the grip. Last screw. I was gonna say this is gonna be kind of handy to have all of this stuff, and it's cool that they gave me a tip. But the tip just sheared right off. Let's see if I have one. So it's about right. S2 T25. Let's see if this one works. Sixes. That's five and a half. So that'll be 11 inches. 40 minus 11 is 29. Alright, 29. That doesn't look too bad. No, it looks good. Some knee pads next time. And the last one on this far side. So far, it seems pretty good. I like it. It's not, it's not really redneck, but why overcomplicate it, right? Uh, looks pretty good. And go get the level. It's right there in the bucket. Put it on top. And your mom is going to tell me when this thing is level. Learn to watch the bubble. Yeah, there. Alright, guys, we're back. <clears throat> We just had some lunch and we are going to finish this gate and then we're going to move on to our little structure right there and put our little uh, tarp on. So we're going to go ahead and continue. We're going to put these little pickets. I've already got two of them set up here. Um, we're going to put the pickets kind of close together. We're going to use all this stuff from our ranch so that we don't have to buy and we're going to buy these guys or build it with these guys. So it's just time to unscrew everything and put them in. So one by one. Oh. A good screw in too. We need to put this piece of wood on the inside of the post because we've got too big of a gap. Our gap is about that big. I don't want a piglet to get through it. Now time for the lock. It's leaving a gap from the front to the door gate. There's too much of a gap right here. So I'm gonna move it over and see if we drill it in and make a stud hole. Okay, I think we're done. <clears throat> What we decided to do, let me see if I can show it to you. We put this hole 
because the gap here was getting too big when it was up here. The size wise, you could probably, it's just too big. I didn't like that. We have a gap already creased in this old piece of wood. So we put it here and it closed up down here. So I think that looks better, works better. All in all, um, looks pretty good. So we used the old pickets. We just kind of stepped it. The ground isn't very level, so we kind of stepped it up. I don't care about this height wise, but otherwise we just use the old screws, put them in, and we use this two by four over here on the side to screw in since we had a round post. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna shift gears and we're gonna go over to our soccer goal and put up the tarp somehow. We have now got some tarps and our job is to put them over and create some enclosure. I'm not sure how we're gonna do this. So you're gonna watch a struggle. We're gonna lay it, figure out how we do it. We brought zip ties and some rope and we're gonna see what orientation. These guys are Blue Hawk 12 foot by 16 foot tarps. We've got three of them. 10 mil heavy duty means it probably just lasts the season. So anyway, we're gonna get started and you're gonna see us struggle with dimensions and just how to arrange it, I don't know. We're not trying to get this so it's fully enclosed like a, an airtight sealed sides. I really don't care. Just something to give some extra shade and a buffer against wind, that's all. So we'll see what happens. It won't look pretty, I guarantee you. It's not gonna look pretty. Functional is all we want, functional. All right. Okay, so our goal now is we think it'll fit. We're gonna wrap it at the bottom and zip tie it here and zip tie it to here, the post. And it looks like it's pretty much centered. So it looks like, I think it's 20 foot wide. So a 10 foot look, it works good. So we're gonna zip tie these things. zip tied. Thankfully it was 10 feet and 10 feet is a 20 foot goal. So do you think it works? I think it looks good. All right we're gonna see how well zip ties hold on up to strong wind is what we're gonna about to find out. Yeah we're gonna see if it flips the goal. So it's pretty heavy. We've got we've got some things to experience here. So beginning ranchers trying something out seeing what we got to make it work. We're gonna learn. Yeah. Figure it out. So to sort of recap, we got the gate done. None of what we do looks perfect. None of what we do looks great. Um, function, that's what we're looking for. So um, we got the gate and we got the shelter up. Last things we need are just the waterer and the feeder. We pick up the pigs on Friday. Um, five little itty bitty piggies. So we're gonna nestle them and love them and call them George. Um, but we're gonna see how they like it. I think we're gonna store the pigs at the house without telling the city about it for a while until they get a little bit bigger. But uh, yeah, otherwise I'm excited to get them in here and see what they think. So anything else, Mimi? Don't forget to subscribe and like us on Facebook. Um, we'll keep getting videos out each week. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you from Black Acre Ranch. Mm -hmm.